Okay, hold up a second. Had the wrong thing there. Now we're good though. At least I think we're good. Let's uh let's try drawing a shape here. Alright, so we got a circle. A square. And a triangle. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright. So today, uh, as you can read right here, we are playing Endo Parasitic. Uh, this is a game I saw on YouTube briefly and then on Steam. It looked pretty neat. Just said it was a, uh, a shorter experience too. So I thought, hey, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll pony up the cash and give it a go. So I won't, I won't go into it too much if you don't know what it is, uh, because I feel like the beginning here will kind of do all the explanation we need about what the game's about. Uh, Big Rock. Okay, uh, that's a little loud. Click and drag to move. Uh, so we are a uh, one-armed bandit by force, not by choice. game is loud it is very loud okay uh, you can tell I didn't do the audio balancing beforehand I was doing it at the menu and I'm like oh okay well this sounds fine but uh, the sounds of agony and screaming when my uh, arm and legs are ripped off uh, it definitely caught me off guard just a little bit there but uh, yeah and then we took a fucking uh, was that a uh, clothing iron and just pressed it to the uh, wounds to cauterize them there which oh the oh, you fucking think. Damn, I got some long fingers. Wait. Yeah, no, those are long fingers. I just put my hand to my face. I'm like, what the fuck? That doesn't cross like as long as that. Uh, so, yeah, I guess uh, this is our life now. Um, we can't go back this way. I think a door closed here that stops us from going back to where the things ripped uh, us apart, which... You know, probably for the best we don't go back there. Thank God we were we were in the uh, laundry room, because uh, if we weren't, uh, well, we would have rapidly bled out. Uh, now I will say I don't think this would have actually uh, worked as well in real life, but that's the joy of video games, isn't it? Grab her here. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll just get moving. Slowly but surely. Hmm. Can I maybe... I can't grab it. I'm a little apprehensive to touch this. Eh? Paris... No, 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 it must, uh... It must just not be calorie properly. Let's give it another go. Uh... Third time's the charm, right? Okay, this... You know, I didn't think I had a parasite. I mean, they did rip everything off. I uh, don't know when they stuck something, I guess, down my throat. Maybe it was beforehand. Maybe they just meant to leave me as, like, a little potato to uh, hatch into a new thing. But, uh, let me just... More? Yeah, okay. Well, if uh, things couldn't get worse, um, they just have. Grab the syringe. Gonna guess. Vaccine syringe. Scroll up to open inventory. Oh. It's a nasty little guy. He looks like he's crawling up my spine trying to reach my brain. Which, um. Yeah, that's probably not gonna bode well. Alright, drag syringe to parasite. Alright, you little fucker. Figure to take me, watch this. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that is a that is a wet slappy noise, isn't it? Alright, well, we've got the inventory system here. You know, I would I would think that given the parasites there that this wouldn't work, but 
I guess it's like a dual purpose, just a regular sensor and it opens doors. When an object is higher or highlighted, right click to interact with it. Medicine will slow the progress of the parasite, but not stop it completely. Yeah, that's not, um, it's not ideal. Can I maybe take like a knife and just go fucking stab it into myself? I'll go back for the, uh, the clo- Alright, guess we'll have to find another clothing iron. Just in case we get hurt here. What's this one? Some equipment was stored in containers with simple locks to prevent subjects from opening them. To open them, match the pin pairs by depth. Okay. What does that mean? Okay, so like this. Alright, yeah, that's pretty simple. And then we've got one in back up here. So I'm wondering if it's a timer based thing or if like when I get attacked, it's going to progress. Cause like we don't see any other healing system here and I'm assuming that there's going to be monsters and whatnot. They're going to try and beat my fucking brains in or er, well, I guess in this case, not beat my brains in, but uh, push the parasite up my body. So let's just get moving. So there isn't like a momentum thing here, it's literally just a pivot point, so I can't just launch myself. Alright, in case of containment breach, all exits will be sealed and evacuations must be funneled through reception for screening. In case of false alarm, evacuation orders can't be removed by accessing control panel and maintenance closet B. Okay, so it looks like our two things is to leave the containment breach on and exit through reception. Or deactivate the false alarm and go out the exits that way we cannot afford to stop our research here i have to end the evacuation orders okay uh you know that's a lot of talk like a lot like a lot of talk coming from someone who just got potatoed and you're saying that it's worth it to not end the contain or to end the containment breach okay I want to check down this hallway. It's a door. Okay. We will be going through what I believe is like some kind of maintenance hatch. We've got red wire there. Green terminal. Another red wire. Okay. Well, you know, given my situation, what's the worst this could do? Canceled. It is safe to return to research stations. So can I go back the way I came then? No. All right. So we had to stop the protocol there, which fair enough. All right. So these must be like loading screens, right? Yeah. Okay. I hear something in the distance like that away. Oh, okay. Just coughing up a little blood, you know, I guess I should have put the fucking iron in my throat. Okay, okay, hold up a minute. That's, uh... So it sounds like some nice, smooth music there, but... Yeah, it's a little loud still. Can't open that. It's, uh, looks to be blue lasers this time. Now those pesky red ones. Or maybe that's just wire held behind like some glass or something. Either way, I don't think I need to worry about that at the moment. <coughs> Fuck. Yeah, my insides are being liquefied. Okay, yeah, it's actually progressing. Okay, I think we're on a timer then. Hold this up just a little more. Okay. All right, we're gonna speed crawl. This person's dead as hell. Author. Sint, Saint, Kint, Sinti, I don't know, we're gonna call him Sint. Uh, lead Paris, Parasitologist. Uh, abstract, Nautilus sample received, beginning preliminary research. Notes, sample has been sequestered to an unmanned research facility approximately one kilometer from main facility for safety purposes. All research will be conducted with remotely con uh, operated drones. 
Material analysis shows the sample is a mass of pure carbon arranged in strands that appear like hair clumped together. There are no visible exotic materials present in the sample that would indicate the cause of mutation field around the sample. Multiple existence decay measurements revealed the sample to be approximately 4.196 trillion years old, making it the oldest sample I've personally encountered. Considering our universe is only around 14 billion years old, this suggests that the sample has either been somehow altered to appear older than it is, or that it originates from a universe far older than our own. May and all, my god of cognition, of skill, bless our research. May and all? And all. Okay. So, some... I don't know if this is like a a reference to something, like a, a media, or if they actually have like some kind of god here that's about cognition, skill, and research. Maybe we'll find out more about that. The baby, the baby is progressing just fine, which is bad. Uh, we need to find some pills. Okay, I think, yeah, the blood seems to indicate when it progresses a little bit. Uh, we're in a research lab of some sort. Got something over here. Oh. Just the blue wires. I get a feeling we're about to come up against something, though, because I swear I had heard something earlier making some noises off in this direction. Oh. Why am I the only one that got all his limbs ripped off? Everybody here is dead, sure. But they have their limbs. So, like, like, what happened to you guys? Come on. Oh, save point. Oh, is it just one? Yeah, I think it's one time use. Uh, they would only give me a save point if something bad's about to happen, I think. And there's a cure there. Well, not a cure. Oh, shit. Run! Oh, fuck! Okay. Look. This seems to be kind of like a survival horror game. So if there's one thing I know about survival horror games, it's that you got to run them in circles. And the tables are your best fucking friend. So we're going to bring them up here. Come on. Don't you want a piece of this sh ass? And then we run. Well, slide. I will also say, I must have like rubbed a ton of fucking butter on my stomach because I am gliding down these fucking halls. Wait, there's got to be something over here. Oh, is it just another place to... Yeah. We circle. Uh, okay, we have to bring them down this way. So we've got two shots now. They're just shuffling. Alright, and we can go through here, and we're out. <laughs> I feel like a, like a tadpole in water or something. Kind of look like it when I do something like this, don't I? There's got to be a gun here so- Well, you know, <laughs> asking you shall receive. Stop coughing. I'll be honest, I don't think the vaccination shot's really going to help with the blood loss I'm uh, suffering right now. Uh, synth, lead parasitologist. Abstract, measuring immunity and anomaly rates. Notes, measurements were taken using drones carrying camera monitored fruit flies in airtight containers. Approximately 2.5 million fruit flies were exposed. All exposed flies were incinerated after being recorded. Uh, rip. Exposure experiments reveal immunity and anomaly rates match those of data provided from other labs' experiments. Predicted rate of appearance of both immu uh, immunity and an anomaly in, in a single entity is also around 1 in 2.5 billion. Flies with anomalies survive longer than those without, but an infection is still fatal upon reaching the brain. A host would need both immunity and an anomaly to survive infection, making ad secula cerebrum, ad secula cerebrum, rather discerning of its hosts. Tests on larger species uh, specimens required to determine effects of survival. 
Okay, so I'm assuming that we're a case of both immunity and anomaly. Since we have been infected, and it isn't killing us until it reaches our brain. So that kind of adds up there. Which means we're a 1 in 2.5 billion. I knew I was special. So, looks like we gotta trigger whatever's over here. And so, wow, there's a lot of switches. Let's not open all these doors just yet. Like to hold till I could potentially get the gun. Oh shit. Save. Alright. So I've only opened one door. I wanna go get that gun. And then we'll open up some more doors to see if maybe there's some more stuff for us. Please help me. You have passed any help I could give you. All right, you click on this prey. I'm gun to equip it. Okay. Scroll up to inventory. Oh, manual reloads. Interesting. So we've got two mags then. Right click on body to put gun back. Okay. Give gun, give gun, give gun, give gun, give gun, give gun. Uh. All right, I was trying to grab the gun off my body. Maybe I had to left click it. I was right clicking to try and uh, pick it up. Just growing pains of figuring out the controls. Please, please help me. All right, so that load, load. All you can do now is pray. I can see this being rough in a panic. Okay, so then right click on body. Okay, there we go. So I must have just been reaching at it wrong. Alright, so... That's a little finicky in terms of how you grab it. So we'll wait here, wait for this guy to walk up, and then... Okay, he do not die easy. I think we're gonna, like, dump a full mag into him. Which, uh, does not bode well since we are not given that much ammo. Let's load this thing up. And then let's go meet him halfway. So we've got room to work with here. Come on, motherfucker. Wait, was it this way? Yes, it was. And it looks like four shots. Okay, let's take the spent cart or spent out. There we go. Put some new ones in and anchor that. A lot of uh, manual needed here. I wonder if there's something good behind you though. So we've got enough for one more kill. Looks like we also probably are going to need to use a vaccine shot soon. So we can escape that way. But I think instead I would like to check... Oh, oh so there was just a door there we could have closed. Might have been helpful. But I do want to explore the rest of this place. Another syringe. Good, good. So the question is how long can I, s or like, how close can I get before it kills me? Alright, so let's keep moving this way. Looks like there's potentially more shots in there. Let's also just save. Keep an eye on the infection. Oh, does it recharge? Oh, okay, so the save recharges. Not enough space. Alright, well, makes sense to go ahead and jab one of those in now. 
Can I potentially get it down further? No, that's as far down as I can get. Okay. Well, we have an idea of how things work now. How many syringes we can hold, how many bullets we can hold, how much it takes to kill one of these bastards. So, we now have a, at least a decent grasp on the co uh, combat options at our disposal. Uh, ideally, we could find some more ammo. I'm going to take a guess and say we probably don't want to be dumping mad loads every single second here. Okay. So we've got four more bullets here, so we can kill one thing right now. And still have max load. And one thing we have found. Nice. Once you get an idea of how the recoil works and how to quickly reload, I can see this being a little bit easier. Alright. Don't need another syringe at this moment, but we'll grab it and inject it before we leave. They're mm. fully loaded. Alright, so that and then move. Is he confused? Can I maybe slide by him? Nah, let's, let's just end him. Might have been able to slide by, but I'm not willing to get cornered with him. Yeah, no, we wouldn't have been able to get by him without him seeing us there, so we had to waste him anyways. Alright, terminal. Loose. Or Lucy. I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna call this character Lucy now. Uh, Sint, the research board is requesting a meeting regarding a concern Pravi recently raised. And I scheduled that for tomorrow afternoon. Does that work for you? Uh, Sint, do not have time tomorrow to take the ridiculous meeting. Do not reschedule them again without checking with me directly since you clearly don't know how important my research is. I apologize, sir. I'll let them know to contact you for a reschedule. Do not let this happen again. Alright, Sint seems like a, uh, very uptight individual. Still here. Oh, it is Lucy. And I must be Sint, then. So... wonder how this all came to be. You stay in there. If you come, oh shit! You've got ammo and a save point, though. I like those. Still good. Gun should be fully loaded. Yep. All right. Nice. You know, I gotta give myself credit. I'm doing pretty good with this whole one-handed shooting and reloading thing. Alright, and let's unlock you before we get... There we go. I think I... Yeah, don't have it fully loaded, so let's go ahead and get that done. Save and keep on crawling. Now, what could be in here? Hello? I hear a shuffling man. Sounds like there's quite a few, which I'm not keen on. Alright, hold up a minute. Eject. Reload. And I'm getting the feel for the com- or, well, I kinda got a feel for the combat, but the rhythm of it. Um. We're still good to keep moving this way right now. Let's get this open. Gun. Nice. Alright. So, five extra bullets. Which is 
manageable. So I'm wondering if they're going to get to a point where it's uh, definitely more advantageous for me to not waste every enemy I see. I'm also noticing that the game volume is a bit quieter here, so let me... I don't want to boost it up on, like, my end, because it's loud enough for me, but let me boost it on the stream. That might be just a bit too loud. Throw it here. Yeah, it's a bit louder. Uh... Nah. Actually, i just leave it back to what it was. Or what I think it was. Because I'm, I'm looking at that loud ping there, and it's like louder than my voice when I'm talking normally, so... Uh... Let's go see if there's a load screen in front, because if there's a little bit more room... Yeah, okay. We'll use this real quick. Because they're certainly giving us, like, a lot of supplies at the moment. More than we really need. We've been given enough bullets to take care of any every enemy. Enough cures that... Genu... Something bad's gonna happen here, I get the feeling. Otherwise, why would they be given so much ammo in that? Somebody writing a note? Oh shit, that is a lot of guys. Security protocol checklist. Complete decontamination procedure to eliminate any external interference. After exiting decontamination tunnel, exchange any and all outside articles of clothing for a provided sterile lab clothing. Proceed promptly to workstations without distraction or conversation. Follow these same steps when departing the research lab. Do not, under any circumstances, reveal lab location or research. Yes, but I would like to know. Can I... No, I can't reach through there. Ooh. We got, like, some tiny bastards around here. Noted. Oh! What is green gonna trigger? Looks like it opens all of these doors. The end door here. Okay. Let's check our ammo. Alright. Little nervous here because those little things like. Oh, you little fucking bastard. Alright. Yeah, that uh, seems to have spiked me up. So when we see the exclamation point, reach for our gun. Here, one more. Yeah, that's not great. Those things are hard to get before they see you. Alright. Well, they're dead. We've got an extra cure right here, so I was fine with using the one that we did. It's the vaccine. It's not a loading area, surprisingly. I would have thought for sure. Some more ammo. I think we're fully loaded right now, so we don't need more. Yep. And we even have like four, potentially five shots there. So we're good to start wasting something. If the need arises. Speaking of the need arising. Stop crawling up my fucking back. I hate you. If I could rip you out right now, deal with you like I've been dealing with all these other bastards, I would. Memo to security, please take any and all smoking breaks in the reception area, not the decontamination tunnel. It is antithetical, antith antithetical 
to the purpose of, our, of the decontamination tunnel. If I find a single fucking cigarette in that decontamination tunnel, I'm going to fire everybody. With this. Grab all these bullets. So there's four more bullets there waiting for us. Uh, little parasites. We're, we're looking okay there. And that... That open up the door here? No. That open up the door over here. Where we can uh, start wasting some of these bastards. Oh boy. Termination by gun. All the best companies are doing it. Yeah, the moment like any worker starts acting up, they go, Hey, are you sure you want to do this? Like, we love having you on board, but if we have to let you go, it would be a shame. And uh, that usually sets them back on track, uh, believe it or not. Alright. Hello? I know you're in here. I saw the decon- Alright. One down. The proof is in the numbers retention through the roof. Yeah, and you know how we are. We are a numbers driven company. Uh, it does not matter what sort of ethical uh, concerns we may have to ignore. As long as the numbers are good, that means we're... What the fuck? That's not good. Hold up. Buddy. Hike! What happened gun? Oh, okay, that makes sense. I think we went around, so the next shot should be... Huh. Okay, maybe... We're... Oh, I think we're firing on this cylinder. Yeah, that makes sense when it kicks back into the gun. Okay. Fuck, I didn't mean to fire that shot. Eh, it doesn't really matter. We have more than enough ammo just sitting around here. Yep. You ever seen a one-armed man, one man move this fucking quick? I don't think you have. I've worked this arm out so hard because I knew one day that I'd get it ripped, I'd get everything ripped off of me. That or like maybe this is like the parasite in me, like just juicing me up so that I can crawl at enormous speeds. Let's go ahead and save. Alright. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like there's probably at least one more motherfucker in there. Give gun. One, two. Oh. That guy was weaker than I'm used to. What about the rest of you? Is that all of you? Oh. Bring it this too easy on me, pal. Let's crawl back. We'll go ahead and use a vaccine right now. Because it is getting a little closer to my brain. Grab the ammo, and we're good to go. I love these baby locks are here just to stop us from opening like a couple pieces of ammo. Like if I know how to take out a gun and oops, hold up a second. If I know how to take out a gun, empty spent cartridges and load these bullets in manually, like come on now. This isn't going to stop me. Lockpicking lawyer up in here? Uh, no. Like, I don't think the lockpicking lawyer could handle that one. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you. What? What's this? Oh! <gasps> Four more bullet slots! Them's fighting words? Yeah, I'd like to see the lockpicking lawyer unlock this. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Glide gracefully down the hall back to the other door. Alright, so that's the end there. We'll go ahead and just juice up real quick before we leave. Since we can't hold more than three syringes, unfortunately. Doesn't hurt to 
basically top herself off. Alright. Well, we can already hear something over there. So we'll have the gun ready to fucking... Alright, I want a little bit of distance. Trying to jump scare me. What does he think this is? A horror game? Nah, baby, this is a shooting game. Okay. Remember, kids, after every kill, reload your gun. It's the smart thing to do. This has been a PSA from the one armed bandit. Alright, author Pravi, associate researcher. Development of preliminary vaccine to prevent mass f fatality event. Well, you kinda were a little late on that one. Thank you, one armed bandit. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have places to be. Uh, it starts crawling on the ground away. Uh, notes. Received shipment of approximately f uh, 500 toxoplasmosis vaccines. Though some trial and error, or through some trial and error, I've managed to successfully alter uh, toxoplasmosis vaccines into extremely temporary vaccines for the Adsecula cerebrum parasite. I'm currently unsure of why they provide no more than a few minutes of protection, and we will be running more procedures to make them more effective. Despite since claims that they are useless, we have placed vaccines throughout the research facilities in case of an unlikely outbreak. Yeah. Always finding ways to seem like he's in the right. Uh, look, I don't want to be that guy right now, Sint, but he kind of fucking was. We'd be dead right now if he didn't. So, I don't know, maybe be a little more graceful in uh, being wrong. Alright. Time to wait. Can I hold up a sec? I kind of want to see if I can pull this off. Okay. Yeah, I won't close when there's something in the way. Good game design. Good game design. I'll give them that. <coughs> Hello. I need help. Please. Hey. I can't do that, I'm lockpicking. There was some fucking parasites, I swear. No decency in it. So good with the baby. Now oh, we got the fucking crawly ones. Okay. They're all on the other side there. Looks like we got two, potentially three, and a big man. Got him. Woo! You're gonna have to be faster than the fastest gun in the West if you want to get me. Yeehaw. Yep, come on. There we go. Hello? Oh shit. Run! Ooh! God damn! I'm getting good with this gun. I could have closed the door, but um, you know, a uh, panic brain kicks in and I want to run. Okay, well I didn't get the gun quick enough that time. You know that was what three out of four? I'd say that's a. Uh, Pretty decent. Uh, we're also just gonna go ahead and jab one of these in, since we did get smacked up a little bit there. It's so that's in the entirety of this room. Now, how bad is it gonna be in here? Let's crawl a little carefully for a second, because it sounds like just around this corner we're gonna have. Yep. Oh, damn it. Yeah, it got the best of me that time. Not a second time, though. 
Yeah, those guys are going to definitely be the ones that get the most hits on me, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. We need to go. We need to go. Uh, okay. Oh, whoo. I'm a little nervous as to how much room I might have here. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, I might be panicking here just a little bit. Just, just a tiny bit. Okay. Empty the cartridge. One, two, three. Okay. Park it. Oh, boy. It looks like we've reached the end of our road. I... I'm not going to be able to load the gun quick enough for that. Okay, so let's build up a little space for ourselves real quick. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. All right. Let's load a full cylinder here. Make a little space. Pull the gun back out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Empty everything. Park the gun. Move. Load the gun. Empty. Okay. I think we're good now. That is a wild fucking portion there. There's also a lot more bullets in this hall still, so if we ever need more bullets, we can come back for them. I think we actually need to, yeah, load three more in here. I can see the difficulty for, with this comes when you start to uh, panic because you're surrounded. Uh, more than anything else. Because we only had, what, like four guys there? I should have been able to take them out with ease, but I just kept, like, fumbling when I was going down that hall. There's a terminal here. I feel like I should be able to, like, access that somehow. I don't think I can... No. That do not work. Can't get through here, that's for sure. Damn thing's locked. So, I guess we'll just leave. That terminal is not for our eyes, unfortunately. Eh, hold up a sec. There we go. Hello? If you come out that corner there, I'm going to kill you. It must have been my imagination. Ooh la la. That's his shotgun. Great. Squeakers or whatever the fuck these things are called. Uh, well before squeakers, we got this. Alright. So they're behind that door, so we're good now. This just rockets back around, so. Oh, shit. From the dark. Oh, shit. Well, I whiffed one shot. So, we still have enough to kill one big guy, and... Kind of want to... It's not going to let me. Oh, we're going to have one click before we get a last boom, it looks like.
good on health. So even if these things get like a little nibble out of me, at the end of the world. It's like, yep, right there. Shit, I'm gonna be able to, maybe I can get a good shot on it here. There we go. Taken care of before it's even a problem. And more ammo to use, which is always appreciated. We'll also try and get this vaccine while we're here. Don't need it at the moment. So it shall stay there. To what? Can you not interrupt me while I'm speaking? Bastard. There's a machine. Yeah, we're gonna just leave that there. A lot of crates. I'm wondering if something bad's about to happen. Alright, let's see where this leads. Wait, this might be a shortcut. Yeah, it's just a shortcut. Okay. Which means we're gonna have to deal with some squeakers here, I think. Just creep along. Is that the only one? Seems to be the case. Let's open these up. Empty that single bullet. Grab you. Is there anything else in here? No. Trigger you and then read you and then we'll save. That way we don't have to run through it all again. Uh, this is by Sint again. Abstract. Parasite experiments on lab rats, which I assume are the things we are killing right now. The little bastards. Shipment of 12,000 adsecula cerebrum parasites. 302 lab rats. Why 302? Why not like round it out at 300? Why the extra two? Did we have like a shipping error? Someone accidentally put a two on the end and we were a little too embarrassed to go back and say, hey, we only needed 300 lab rats. I have no idea. Subject stored in high security wing after exposure. Despite my receptionist's protest, we started lab rat exposures. Exposed one parasite to sample. After mutation, introduced it to a lab rat. After penetrating skin, the parasite burrowed to the rat's brain. Upon reaching it, the rat instantly mutated in a manner that proved fatal. To compare, one rat was exposed to the sample directly. Its mutation pattern was found to be similar to the infested rats. Next steps. Continually expose parasites until one with immunity or anomaly found. Experiment with ways to protect rat from parasites. Tell Lucy in reception that progress cannot be made without sacrifice. All right, so we just started braining all the rats. Very cool. Well, well, well. Not enough storage. How much does a shotgun shell take up? What if I load addition there? Nope, it would just probably fall at the end. Full there, so we can't really grab anything with that. Check this note. Shotgun provided for intruder safety protocol. Use with caution. Right, let's save real quick. Obviously, we're going to need to, I guess, drop you and you. Jesus, shotgun is a thick boy. Alright, I want to keep the pistol bullets so that way we can take down... Eh, well... Hmm. I guess we can leave something like that, because if we do the math, right? A shotgun shell takes up four pistol bullets, and a shotgun shell 
will hopefully kill the big bastards in one shot. Which leaves our pistol good to go for whenever we need to take out, like, the crawlers and whatnot. I think that should work out. So let's hit this. We'll go ahead and jab one of these in and grab you. Not to mention, we don't know if the shotgun does potentially more damage or has, like, some good spread on it. So let's check. Yep. It's got, uh... One shot capability. So, in that case, then yeah, we'll just grab two shotgun bullets and keep those on us at all times. So we've got one full reload for the shotgun and a partial reload for the pistol. That also means we can take out two before we have to reload, whereas with the pistol, we'd have to reload before we could kill two. Just wish we had a little bit more inventory space. Uh, this one's been used. Yep. Door and ammo. Right, two pistol bullets. It's fine. So this isn't opened. Probably is over here, right? No. Did we open? Oh, we're supposed to crawl in here. Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So a syringe and some bullets there. I hate having to crawl slow, but there's bastards can be around any corner, like. That, uh, damn it, we're at a bad angle here, alright. Are you kidding me? Okay, we need to crawl. Whoa, it is genuinely about to pierce our skull. Whoa! Can't do that. Either come at me or don't. That was a very bad angle for us with that little bastard, but we're alive. Just barely. And we're down to syringes now, so we do have to find a couple more of those. Just nibbling the shit out of us there. I think it's getting stuck on the wall over there. Yeah, unfortunately in those tight spaces, I think they're always going to get a hit on us. Because that is just a bit too hard to work around. Unless we go like gung-ho and whip it around the corner. Maybe then we can get by without too much difficulty. Let's go ahead and hit that and open you. So that's fully loaded. This needs two more rounds. Shotgun ammo. Okay, so we're going to get a little spicier now. There we go. <coughs> Not enough room, huh? Well, I get the feeling we're about to waste a couple guys, so... We'll have room short. Nope. Too close. Not willing to, like, potentially clip the room and not get a hit. Full here. Yep. I think I heard one more in here. Uh, 
Uh, maybe that was just my ears deceiving. Oh, we do have a note. I always knew she was delusional. Lucy, receptionist. I do not know how to explain it. I'm sure Pravi and Sint would call it ridiculous, but the day that Sint first received the shipment of parasites, I had a vision. Pyridae. Pyridae appeared to me in my dreams and told me the parasites were for me. I didn't understand at first. I suppose I still don't, but it consumes me. May Pyridae, my goddess of light and love, guide me in this puzzling quest. Okay, so I'm assuming Lucy leaked the virus. That That's my gut instinct so far, and I'm sticking with it. I don't want to go here. I've decided I will go this way. Fuck. Alright, guess I'm not going that way. Oh, you little bastard. Right, let's have it. Yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and shoot up one of these. It's a little too far along my spinal column for me to be comfortable. Right, we gotta whip it around and then grab the gun. I think we got one around this corner. And the pistol's just a little hard to get to there. Let's backtrack real quick. Grab that, I think, extra bullet? It's either one or two bullets. And just one. It's not to take care of one of these bastards, though, so... More than worth it. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I felt like that was a good call. Yep, I was afraid of that. Alright. Let's go ahead and get you out of here. Yeah, had I not uh, taken that blind shot down there, I probably would have died. Because that would have been three hits all at once. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get a full reset on my health. I haven't observed close enough with the shotgun to really tell if it has a spread that can take care of multiple enemies or not. Alright, I don't hear any more of the little crawly bastards, so... Hey! Hey, I'm talking to you. Pay attention, motherfucker. Well, it's less fun when you don't give me the satisfaction of moving. Here, tell you what. I'll do a little dance for you. Ooh. Alright, you took the swing. That means I'm justified in killing you. Oh, fuck. We did the thing that I didn't want to do. I shot through him. Oh, you know... I guess that's what I get for fucking around. The age old adage of fuck around and find out, I have indeed found out. We do know there's one shotgun round back this way. So we'll crawl back real quick, snatch it, load it, twist it, op it. Mm. My reserves looking a little grim, but we'll survive. I hope. Right, down to the revolver once again. A little less than ideal, but shall make do. <laughs> Figure we should prob- Huh. I think this is the outside of the base. It's rather neat. Uh, 
Alright, time card for 030 422 01. Sent Lucy. So Lucy clocked out after everyone by like four hours. Time card for 0404 2201. Lucy's clocking out at 2200 each time. So Sint and so myself and Pravi clocked out at the same time. Fifth. All right. That's odd. What has Lucy been doing here so late? That's what I was wondering. I was assuming that was a little odd. It's a little hard to get to the uh, pistol specifically. Wish the uh, box on it was just a little bit bigger so I had a little easier time grabbing it. There was no reason to open that. Okay. I guess that's what I get. Now this... This is beautiful. There we go. Alright. Load her up. What's this hallway for? <laughs> Like, in the, in the context of a research facility, what does this hallway do? We have a box of shotgun rounds, and then it just goes out to the window. There's no doors on the side that lead to any rooms. It's just a weird hallway. A weird claustrophobic hallway, mind you. I guess that's just the shotgun corridor. Okay, well. So what's the blue arrows for? I'm a little apprehensive to go down here. Crawl slow. They won't hear us coming. Okay, well, I just coughed all over the fucking... floor, so, like, I mean, they're gonna hear me now. It's a foundational hallway. Well, I must not be up on my, uh... My architecture, you know. Without that hallway, the entire facility would have collapsed. Oh. Then by all means, I'm sorry. I should not be insulting that hallway. Lord knows we need this facility right now more than anything. You know, in fact, it would be a damn shame if I went all the way back. I just started fucking trying to dismantle the hallway right now. Come on, you fucking... Okay. Okay, look. Maybe... Maybe I'm just being a little crazy, you know, like, obviously I can't just, like, I might be strong, right? I, th I think I've proven that so far with uh, how much I moved around here without tiring. My arm still isn't strong enough. My gun, however. Alright. <sighs> you know what? I'm willing to, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. And, uh, when, when I've lost. Uh, the hallway wins... We're gonna... We're, we're just gonna continue. Let's act like none of that happened, yeah? Oh, fuck. I don't want to do this, but you made me. Oh, you little fucking bastard. Come on. Alright, let's stop this thing from uh, jacking into my brain real quick. Taking those with me. Got some more of them, it sounds like, up ahead. Also, tag that save point. Great, more fucking service tunnels. Mark that back on my hip. You know, it's kind of funny when I think about it. Like, I don't think this pistol came with a holster, so... Like, what am I tucking that into? And, like, the shotgun... 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe they were just lying around, you know? And I'm just like, oh, okay. Because other... Very quiet. Doesn't know we're here. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Uh... I think it's time for some stealth game. And by stealth, I mean crawl very fast gameplay. Crawl very, very fast gameplay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let me throw! <laughs> Well, that was unfortunate. But now we can change fate and uh, actually land our shotgun shot this time. Won't that be swell? Won't that be epic? Won't that be right on? I knew he was over there, so I was I wasn't gonna give him the time of day. All right. You die tonight. Cool. Got anything cool in here? No. Well, you tried your best, but it wasn't enough to stop the one armed bandit. That sounds a little different. Ah, this feels intimidating. Let's go ahead and load this bad boy up before I move any further. Just, just as a precaution. Hmm. Well, from how it looks, we're about to have to do shotgun defense strats. So, all right, so that's going to close. We can't leave, and there's going to be four angles for them to come from. So let's meet them halfway, shall we? Oh, this is going to be rough, isn't it? All right, unload, load. <laughs> Alright, unload, reload. That is a lot of them, huh? Looks like it's just two more. Oh, you little bastard. Got on me right at the end there. Of course you did. Ugh. All right. Well, you know, given how much bullshit there was there, I think taking only one hit is uh, not too bad. I bet you there's like a secret in here though. Right? No? No, no nothing? Just... Uh, just corridors from the coming from. Okay. Well. That is very... Did it just like gulp something? Why'd you stop breathing? Come out here now. Not playing around. Oh. 
So this is the moment when he gives me a grenade, right? To deal with that. Oh boy. Maybe there was one up there. The little bastard was making quite a ruckus. Alright, well, I'm not opening that door just yet. Oh, very good. I've actually been running a little lower on syringes as of recent. So that is very much appreciated. We are also, from that hallway that I saw, going to need as many shotgun rounds as we can get our little grubby hands on. So, this is beneficial for us. Getting the distinct feeling I shouldn't be wasting the shotgun shells on these guys, given what there was ahead. Oh, pardon me. Thought I just uh, that would make sense. I didn't load the shotgun shell there. All right. We've cleared this air. I'll think about that in just a minute. Uh, all right. So shotguns loaded, revolvers loaded. Now, flare gun for outdoor emergency use only. Okay, how about indoor emergency use? Because I feel like that is kind of where I'm at. Great. Well, time to play the fun game of how much size does this little bastard take? Wow, more than that, huh? Okay. Certainly not bigger than sh like. Wow. That is a chonky fucking lad. Yeah, that... Ooh. All right. So, I guess this will... I guess this will function like a grenade in a sense. All right, they're dying. All right, it slowly but surely kills them. Good to know. Wonder if there's really going to be another situation where that is as useful. All right. I think this is going to be the kit we go with, because that's eight little guys we can kill, and a total of six big men we can kill at the moment. Let me just make sure again. It's already loaded. Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> I am now a three-gunned, one-armed bandit. Wow. That was a lot of them killed. Didn't realize a flare gun had so much penetrating power. Why don't we use that against like armored tanks and shit? If it punches through that many dudes, I'm sure it can hit through some like steel plates and shit. So we do have to remember we are on a timer. We have two vaccines, but 
they have been giving them at a slower rate as of recent, so I am a little concerned. Also hear those little bastards up ahead, so we need to be able to grab our revolver quick. Sent lead parasitologist. Abstract, hypothesize some next steps. Ramblings, do those belong in a paper like this? Eh, whatever. The data we were provided from other labs research goes in depth on the singular successful subject. The subject appeared after a mass exposure and had the ideal characteristics of both immunity and an anomaly. The subject was widely considered to be genius, a genius in the community as a mathematician and philanthropist. When the subject's genetic family was exposed to similar samples, they perished almost instantly. Make no mistake, this parasite is finical and methodical. It chooses hosts to keep alive. The anomaly was imbued with physical and mental abilities far beyond that of regular humans. The researchers there described him as suddenly godlike. What a gift that must be. How can we determine who it keeps alive? Who it mutates in favorable ways? What way is there, if not mass exposure? Okay, now it's starting to sound like Synth, the one who uh, decided to just expose everyone in the facility to see who would, uh... Us hey. Cut it out. I was hypothesizing what happened here. So yeah, I'm thinking that there's a chance that Synth's the one who did it. Oh, we also have a flare gun around there, so... Probably going to be a prime opportunity to do, knock out a ton of infected here in a minute. <coughs> now we got to use this. Let's also double back and grab those revolver rounds. Now the fact that we have so many shotgun rounds does make it a little inconvenient to do revolver strats, but... I'd rather have all the shotgun rounds I could need on me. Fuck you. Wink. How many of you bastards do I gotta kill? Don't hear any rats. Oh. Hmm. Just kinda worried that might not hit. But we're good. So I got a save terminal there. Reason to use the flare gun right now, which is a little surprising. Oh, we have to leave that flare gun cartridge because I'm definitely not giving up three shotgun rounds for it. That would be a little foolish, I think. How many enemies are we dealing with right here? Count two right now. That's unfortunate. I guess uh, it split the damage on those two. I was not gonna waste a whole nother shotgun round to try and take another one of them out. Because luckily the other one died to just one pistol round. Okay, so we have to do some big mental gymnastics gymnastics here all right two flares guess we can carry one right now Pravi, 
Abstract. Finding on rate of parasite transmission from test subject to test subject. Notes. Continued monitoring of a cerebrum parasite's effects on lab rats. Is there a dot there? Uh, lab rat test subjects. My findings suggest that transmission of parasites continues even after a test subject has suffered a fatality. If the specimen kills its host body, it has a near miraculous ability to spread to other test subjects. Now, I've been monitoring this process closely, but have not pinned down the exact method of transmission. If it is inhaled, absorbed through the skin. I'm not sure. I do know that the infection rate is much higher than anything I've encountered. If this pattern of transmission continues, we'll need to request more specimens from the research board. Ah, uh, this time we need 303 lab rats. Oh. Parasite's still detected. Eh, I thought about maybe vaccining to get through, but... Oh. Not funny, didn't last. Either we're about to extract the parasite from our body, or we have to heal to get in there. Hey, wake up. I want to go get chicken nuggies at McDonald's. I need you to drive. I don't have legs anymore. Hey, wake up. Fine, I'll do it myself. I'll put my hand on the accelerator. And just kind of hope that we're driving the right way. Yeah, might as well use one of these now. Ah, so it is a health-based thing. Uh, from the desk of Pravi. Sint, you cannot suggest mass exposure to the research board. Lucy and I agree it is unethical. No doubt they will as well. You cannot jeopardize the future of the colony civilization for your own gain. Oh yeah? Fucking watch me. Oh boy, I'm still suffering so much. There's a lot of blood around here. Great. Sounds like there's one. Uh, seems like they're all actually in there. All right, I got an idea. Well, that worked pretty well. Let's double back. Because I think there was a spare flare back here somewhere. Yes, sir, there was. So eject that one, insert that one, grab the extra. There's a boss fight anywhere up ahead. He's gonna learn what the meaning of God is from my flare. I did get everything in here, didn't I? Yep. Seems like it. Unfortunately, we got one more big guy clear before. Didn't actually nibble on me there. Good to know. I think we can dodge them and they'll just run by. Which might be the way to take care of them. Okay, well, that one just fucking put that to shame. Guess we just got lucky on the other one. Need two switches to open it looks like. Yep. Let's go ahead and 
just juice up. I don't like the change in music. Something bad's about to happen, I feel. Water monitor station. Contamination detected. Do not consume or wash. Please attend to water source immediately. That's a lot of bullets. What am I gonna have to deal with here? I thought they were dead until one grabbed a chunk out of my ankle. Move slowly, step carefully, and don't make too much noise. Okay. I was wondering if there was going to be something more stealth related. Okay. Oh, and now we're just in complete silence, huh? Oh. Oh, I don't like these guys. Take that. I'm probably good to move now. Was I too close? Did it scratch me? Oh yeah, that fucked my ankle up. <laughs> Almost had me there. Well, we got an idea how they work now. I felt like there might have been something back here. Shotgun ammo right here. Alright, hold up a sec. So we got one extra shotgun shell back there. I need to go ahead and juice up. Not enough to fully heal us, but it's enough to get that. Ow. I hate these speed limiters. So I'm assuming these things are actually dead and kind of like to the point earlier where it can take over even after like the host body dies. It's just kind of like nerves almost in that when it hears something it just lashes out at it. It's like the eyes are obviously no longer in the skull.
tried to reach for me there at the end. See that? Go ahead and just get that down. In case we get smacked up in combat here. That's not going to fit. We could have probably ignored him. Oh, we got a lot of shotgun shells here. Which means I'm good at doing this. Try it again. Shouldn't have tried it again. That was kind of a fucking joke. Okay, which one are you? Look for more shotgun shells. Actually, we didn't even need to ditch you. All right. So there's two shells right there. Vaccine syringe there. A note from me. Now that I'm absolutely convinced that these parasites are both discerning and intelligent, it is clear that they came to me for a reason. Once I am able to establish the effects of their infection on worthy host bodies, no one will be able to stop me. I'm worthy. Who, if not me? It knows I would do anything for the pursuit of science, of conviction. This is my purpose. Praise be to Knoll, my god of science, of absolutes. How could I have been wrong? This stupid, 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 stupid. When I should have been its host, its ally. I'm not a good person. <laughs> Interesting the amount of resources it's giving me right here. Now, all things considered, I am handling this shotgun blast recoil pretty damn well. Oh, fuck. Here we go. <laughs> Let's continue for just a minute here and see if what else we're going to be doing with. Okay. Double back, grab another shotgun around. And then... Yeah, we'll grab a shotgun around. Top ourselves up, grab a syringe, and move on. Into the darkness. Is it just me or are we a little more zoomed in this time? Bastards. Sounds like he's sleeping. I do not like that noise. High five. Stop that. You can't reach me from there, fool. Why even bother? Sounds like it's right next to me. I do not like whatever the fuck that is. Terminal Prave. Since something's wrong, all of a sudden the monkeys started pounding on the glass of their containment. Well, if I locked you in a glass box, you wouldn't like it either, would you? It's different than that. We're panicked. Now the security guard collapsed. He's... He's... Mutating. Oh, God, this is disastrous. Sint, are you there? 
Nothing. Oh boy. What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay, I get the distinct feeling I don't want to let these guys out. I call it a hunch, but... I feel like it would not bode well. Okay, but I can be as fast as I want around them. So we can... When we know that there's places without the little laying down guys, we can book it a little quickly. Hmm. I get the distinct feeling this is not supposed to be open like this. Some revolver rounds right there. Can't shoot this guy, can I? I can. Dead. Now, you might wonder, why did I spend all that ammo trying to kill that thing? Uh, really, the main reason is because I'm worried that if I don't kill it and I have to do combat in here, it is going to end up getting me killed. Plus, we got recomp for all the bullets we used there, so I'm not too bothered. So, shotgun blast might have been preferable. Do you have more inventory space now, which is good. If I leave two bullets here, I can grab a shotgun shell, which I prefer. Flare ammo, huh? Okay, my brain's melting a little bit here. There we go. Uh, we don't talk about how long that took, all right? Can we agree on that? Decent enough still. <laughs> Can't heal until I kill this. Access these, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I hit it. Well, that thing is tough to kill, it seems. But what if? Stay with me here. We did it again.
Achievement complete. Big game hunter. Yeah. It was a tough battle, really. But uh, I think man came out on top. Gotta get an amen. Now let's leave before the other one realizes that uh, he could probably break those bars and then uh, subsequently break me. I thought that was like some. What in God's name's happened to you? I got torn apart. Never mind. There's no time. The, the airlock is broken from this side. If you could just open the. If I let you out, those things will get out as well. I don't think it's a very wise risk to take. No, no, please. Tell me what you know about the outbreak, Pravi. Well, I, I saw one of the airtight containers we used to transport the specimens by the decontamination chamber. Someone intentionally released the parasites through the oxygen system. So it was premeditated. It's rather fortunate that we had your vaccines then, hmm? What are you implying? Only three people in this facility had access to my research. And if it wasn't Lucy, and it wasn't you... You think I let them out? You were the one considering a mass infection! You got what you wanted, didn't you? May the gods have mercy on you, Pravi. <laughs> Wait, wait. Whoa. Ah! Okay. So, two things to two things to note here. Uh one, I apparently didn't release them. Or at least I was covering up for myself there, which I would say is entirely possible. And uh two, uh, if I see one of those big gorillas, uh it's time to fucking book it. Uh, I think that's the gorilla. Subject's eyesight was lost due to mutation, but they gained increased sensitivity to sound. Okay. Another be quiet. I ain't getting by him. Not currently, at least. Maybe if I lob a fucking fire gun shell at him. So, uh, I think we'll try out uh, drastic measures like that later. Stop coughing. Freaking me out. You can probably hear it. Oh, shit. I see. I do not like this. <laughs> Sam I am. I do not like big gorillas with uh, brain parasites. I also don't know how quick I can move, so I'm moving at a slow pace. So that'll I don't want to do that trigger, I don't think. I might have to. <laughs> yeah, I can't go now. Alright, guess we're triggering this. I kinda hoping I could close the door on him. Should have moved quicker now. Oh, I think I have to crawl by him.
fucking lovely. Yeah, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go make sure just just real quick that uh, there wasn't another way for me to go uh, before I uh, you know do something this psychotic. No, uh, no way here, huh? Um, okay, what can we do here? It's gonna make me... Alright, let's try this, yeah? Okay, apparently it can lock onto you after a shot. Noted. Here's my guess then, I have to book it in here. Not the fucking time! Alright, I have an idea. It's called Fuck the Monkey Man. <clears throat> How did my strat work? I don't hear him. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, it worked. Who'd have thought? <laughs> so I guess you would have had to like just sprint through here otherwise. Ah, let's just leave it at that. I was thinking, mm, do I want to get my flare gun round back? But I was like, eh, fuck it. I think, like, we don't have to play super optimally. Huh. Oh. Just take up their own. Oh, I see. Interesting. Crossbow provided for intruder safety protocol. Use with caution. Bind crank until it clicks. Place bolts into groove. Pull trigger to fire bolts. Right. Hey, fuck you. Now, can I... Ah, we can retrieve these. All right. <clears throat> so this is our single target takedown. Noted. I'm probably gonna need to use it up ahead here. An idea. Move just a little bit further here. That thing's dead now. Okay. Now, unless they tell us that these can break, we're gonna be smooth sailing, I think. 
Ouch, forgot that that'll actually still reach me. Does die to two shots though. So one at a distance and then one up close to finish her off. That's how we deal with that. Did I fucking miss? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, we didn't really get what we were aiming for there. Just crawl, I think. Alright. I hear the little guys, I think. Should I, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that on them. Because this is a uh, kind of second nature to use at this point, just like the quick. Revolver shots. We're good on that for the moment. We'll come back for it in a minute. So if these things only take two crossbow bolts to kill, this must be a pretty strong weapon. Back up. There we go. The the auto or like the manual reloading is very fun to do. Give the game that. That dude like throw two hands at me to try and grab me. Jesus. So thinking about it, let's go ahead and lock that in place so that we're good and ready when the time arises. I love just like quickly bulleting away when uh, I'm at an area to get out of range of them. Cause they're like, no, come back. It wasn't done yet. Great more of this shit. Oh, I hate these little bastards. So quick and it's so hard to grab a gun before they get you. Like, I'm sitting there reaching for it, and I'm just like, where's my fucking revolver? Help! Oh, I could have swore there would be one there. I knew I'd find at least one of you. So is that two syringes? Sure is. I guess they expect you to get... Banged up a little bit here. Which is a solid thing to think. Given how many of these there seem to be. We're getting better about grabbing our gun when we need it. Right, fully loaded. Also just juice up and keep moving. Uh, 
player again, huh? All right. Let's see how long it takes me to do this. There we go. Nice. Flare gun is loaded, so we don't need that just yet. Find my fucking revolver as always. Let's uh, backtrack real quick because I know there was some revolver rounds like right over here. Yep. Oh, fucker. Great. Give me that. Actually, I don't want to open that door standing next to it, or like at all just yet. So I don't know if there's anything else of importance in here. Looks uh, to be it. Peek in. All right. So we've got the crawlers on our right, and a bundle of shotgun ammo. Huh? I think the shotgun's fully loaded right now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do this real quick. And we'll go back real quick and grab around because I have to get like the fucking cure that is up here as well since I am uh, pretty banged up right now so drop these two real quick drop a third I guess there we go and there should be a vaccine yep right here We can just kind of speed along here. They can't grab us as long as we go around that way. Okay, both of those are dead. Yeah, we're going to have to do another juice up here in a second, it looks like. So that one's still alive. Might have uh, panic shot a little bit there, but uh, you know, whatever gets the job done, I suppose. So two shotgun shells is enough to deal with them. Wanted to test that real quick since we did have extra shotgun shells right there. Oh, great. Good eater, man. <laughs> I 
have to kill it, aren't I? With the crossbow, since it's not gonna make noise. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. Stop! Now! Stop! Please, I beg of you! So, uh, this is a, uh, force to use, uh, the good old crossbow level, it seems. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. As long as we're quick on the draw, we aim carefully, we should be able to hit the little guys. I know that we got a, a thicker one up here, but it doesn't matter. We can kill him just as easily. One shot. Alright, it's going swimmingly so far. Where is he? I don't like how he started moving towards me. That's how you bait out the rats. They can't help but say hi. Game is tense. Alright, I think we've got all of them triggered now, so now we just gotta get up and by. <laughs> we'll slow down a little bit when we get close to this dude because I really don't want to accidentally trigger him and have him bash my fucking skull in. Right after we've done all this. Is it going up or down? It's a little difficult to tell based off of the tune. Good to go through. Oh, so it was a series of four different doors. I thought it was just like one door triggered by four levers. I guess that's the max amount of bolts we can handle. I feel like we're probably gonna have to take him down given how many bolts there are. <laughs> we're sealed until biohazard eliminated. Yep. Where's he at? Right there. Again. Sounds like we're hitting them. Okay, no, uh, that was the time we hit him. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, we gotta 
pinpoint where he is and then get a line of sight to shoot. Who's below? There's on our right, right there. <laughs> Bet you he's right here. the hard way. Let's go figure out where he is. What? Yeah, right there. shots do I gotta put into him? We've hit him three times now. Oh, he's dead. Oh, well, ball him. That means we can leave now, I think. <laughs> right? Yeah, door open. Let's get out of here. Are we in, like, reception now? Dear members of the research board, welcome. We are so pleased to have you visiting our fine lab. You don't hesitate to ask me for anything you might need. Before entering the airlock doors, please make sure you are up to date on all safety and security protocols. Due to the strictly confidential nature of the research we do here, no next of kin will be notified of any injuries, accidents, or fatalities that may occur during your visit. We appreciate your understanding. Lucy. Yeah, we must be at like reception now. We're almost out of here. Although, kind of wondering what happened to Lucy. You know, maybe it's a little weird of a, uh, a thought to have here, but maybe Lucy was one of the compatible ones. Because huh. um, she said she felt like the parasite was calling to her. And the parasite has proven to be intelligent, according to the research logs. So I get the- oh shit. I get the weird feeling that Lucy might be a higher being now that I will have to take out. Feels like something that we're setting up for at least. A lot of uh, pistol bullets wants us to have, I guess. I don't know where it is, where it's coming from, or how it's getting in, or... Oh god, it's back. You can hear it. it. just keeps showing up. If you find this, please know that I... I'm gonna do something real quick. That guy took a lot more bullets than I'm, I remember him taking. Right, so back to the crossbow it is then. He's stuck. Okay, well I'll just reload in front of you and then kill you. It's that simple, really. Seems like they're asleep though, so I can just get around them. Most of them. These ones, not so much. By the time he gets here, I should be locked and ready to go. Yep. Crank broke. Wouldn't that be some shit if, like, uh, 
as like a set piece it just said oh your crossbow broke in the middle of you reloading it <laughs> that would be funny <laughs> something bad's about to happen that is a big man i just saved so i'm gonna go ahead and All right. Fuck. Okay. Wait for it. Got an achievement called Predator. I think I took it down, but I don't see a dead body, so... Not sure what that's about. What I do know is that I need more ammo now. <laughs> there was... nope, no more ammo there. Alright, well, shit. Some of these popped and gave ammo, so I'm wondering... Oh, you fucking would, wouldn't you? Alright, I'm not popping ammo of these little... <gasps> no! This is gonna be rough. Alright. Reload the crossbow. Come on, we can do this. Don't go too quick. Fuck. With that shot entirely. Got it that time. So, definitely didn't kill it. Thinking we don't want to injure anything that seems to spawn it. Plus, we don't know what's going to come out of whatever we fucking hit, so. Probably safe just to. We just need to keep moving. Safe. Okay, wait. Alright, we'll move. Shit. That's what I was worried about, that little bastard coming in and fucking doing that. Juice. This isn't stressful at all. Wait. That thing is much more manageable once you know the best way to deal with it. As most things in like survival horror games are. Okay, wait here. Alright. That'll be how we test. I'm gonna be in this hallway with it. There we go. It does kill whatever it lands on though, so we can use that to our advantage. So if we just chill here for a second. 
Okay, it didn't do anything there. Would have quite liked at least. Wait for it. Right. The revolver. Grab some shrooms. Here we go. Shit. Wait here. Yeah, we definitely all right we use this dude to get whatever's in these scot free okay lots of vaccines so if we chill here he should hit one of these yeah cool 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 all right so we can use this ag uh, against them given that some of these have ammo it's actually beneficial for us to do it so we stand here some of these are gonna Oh, that is a loud ass noise, though. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let me check my other rounds real quick. Right, we're fully loaded at the moment. Oh shit, that was close. Quickly load this. Grab the extra shell. This is a loud, loud noise. Okay, we're good. Alright, fuck it. Let's send it. Question is, is it still on me? Nice. Alright. Still not enough space. All right. I feel like we roll with this for the. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. It's obviously why he gave it to us. Even though it didn't seem to really do exactly what I wanted it to. I can easily pick up all that ammo, at the very least. Alright, anchor that back on. Oh, they just give us a fuck ton of ammo right here. Nice. Um, I would rather have... Four less bullets for one extra shotgun shell. Feels like a better trade in my opinion. Go ahead and just jam that in on the infection. They're giving us a ton of ammo though. Which means I'm free to go ahead and just start blasting. <coughs> Lucy, receptionist. First Okay, that's just the squeakers in the distance. Uh first contact with the parasites. I wanted to start documenting these, like Pravi and Sint do. They'll pay me no mind, I'm sure. I need to know if my vision was real. I need some kind of contact with them. So I decided to stay late one night and operate a drone to bring my scarf over to the research facility. I wanted them to know me, even if I can't be with them. I watched the remote camera as the little bugs swarmed the scarf. 
And I felt foolish all of a sudden seeing them. They're just insects. You can't pick and choose people. But they started to pull up the threads, breaking them, rearranging the red fabric until the, there were holes in it. The hole spelled out the word, Not only is you. she brainless, she's reckless. I have half a mind to report her to the research board. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, let's let's do that uh, after we get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> if we get out of here. Well, I gotta investigate what's in here. Okay, well that should have been obvious. No reason to waste a bullet. Not that I don't have a ton of bullets right now, but. Crossbow bolt works just fine. Well, you know, I was good, and then the, uh, couldn't reach my fucking gun on my hip. Alright. I'm just doing my job as like a uh, researcher, you know, cleaning up my mess right now. That's that's what I'll justify this as. Ah, but this is what I was looking for. More inventory slots. Alright. Man, I remember back when I only had uh, one... Just a pistol. Those were uh, dark times. Now I have so many guns, I don't know what to do with them. You know, except shoot them. Shooting them is pretty easy to do. And intuitive. Lot of fucking ammo now, or a lot of room for ammo. I'd say we're almost maxed out, probably. Let's get a save in. Oh, great. Wait for him here. As long as we prep ourselves in the right position, we can get him to kill a lot of shit for us. Yeah. Dab. like being in a hallway with him. That part does get a little scary. Let's check what this is. Just ammo. We're good on health, but we can come back here and grab way more health if we need it. Now, for something that can teleport around and, like, macerate me, he isn't doing a good job taking me down, which is kind of funny. So I guess I shouldn't complain. It is more of a blessing than anything else. Let's 
Let's move. And... Yeah, we're good. So we got revolver rounds there now, which means I'm comfortable activating things like that. Because I'd rather open up those things with the revolver since those little fucking rat bastards can be in there. It's easier just to double tap them in that case. They definitely reached the point where as long as I'm careful, uh, we can kind of just live indefinitely. with all this room here. I'm glad that these crossbow boats just kill in one shot. I guess it would be very fucking annoying if they didn't. Let's go ahead and check what's in here. You know, other than that guy. And the rats that are inevitably gonna skitter around as soon as I walk in here. Oh, no rats in the one. From the desk of Lucy, the receptionist. Can't stop picturing the word they carved into my scarf. I had to incinerate it, but I hold the message in my heart. You. They said. I read all of Sint's and Pravi's research on the creatures. Sint wrote about an anomaly who was chosen by the parasites to be kept alive, turned into a god. Is that my purpose here? Am I an anomaly? I've never quite felt like I belong here. Pravi doesn't pay me any mind, and Sint treats me like a clueless child. I'm more than that, even if I'm not an intellectual. I belong here. I'll show them that. The very notion they'd pick her over me. How vain. How clueless. Yeah, how could they pick her over me? You see what I'm doing right now? Could... Could fucking Lucy do this? Anyways. Error? Error. Okay. I can't do anything to these guys when they're inactive. So that's good to know. this way. Shotgun shells. Pistol rounds. Pistol rounds. Ah, oh, you would. Not gonna work. Let me drop one of these shotgun shells for a minute so that way I can pick up all the revolver rounds I need to reload. There we go. So we got two extra shotgun bullets there. A vaccine, which I do kind of need. More shotgun. More revolver. Now I know I could theoretically just use the crossbow bolt on all of them, but that would take more time than I'm willing to really give. Plus, it's not like we use the revolver for everything, so I'm fine with using up some of the ammo. Since there's like one more, I'll do that, but otherwise, don't see much of a reason. That should be uh, all except these two. Well, there we go.
There we go. Okay, so now we have to head this way. All those pods are popped, so we don't have to worry about any of them. Save. Yeah, I knew you were coming. That time I was actually able to grab my revolver before it was a problem. Go. What? God damn it. Fuck me. Okay, wait. Alright, my best bet is to stay in corners like this so that way I can dive in either direction should I need. Can I force him to spawn like right here? Is he inactive now? I guess so. I'll take my chance here to get a solid reload in. Before I become fucking shish kebab. You motherfucker. Yeah, you're not getting me that easy. Not keen on this angle here. Okay. Let's get some reloading done. I guess these are going to say error. Yep. Let's book it. Can grab one shotgun shell from in here. Oof. I'm going to say it that time. I bet it's going to be. Oh. I bet we're at the like exit here. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's go. A lot of bullets here. Sounds like we got quite a few bullets. Fortunately, they did get a drop on me there, so... Eh, yeah, we're gonna need that. You know, it's been a while since they've had these slow guys. The ones that, like, you know, stop me from sprinting across the map. Uh, so I get the feeling that I shouldn't go super quick in the off chance that they decide to put one of those in front of me. Attack me. Do it. Fool. Oh, uh, well. Guess I'm kind of the foolish one right now. Nice 
shock shells. And a vaccine. Alright. Not gonna make it that easy on you to hit me. Actually, get him to jack some of these up, though. Yeah. Okay. Right, it's revolver for right now. No. Now it is. Parasite's slow enough right now that we don't need any vaccines. You know what? Fuck it. It's been a while since I've shotgunned. I got shotgun rounds for days right now. Sucked. I think there was a vaccine back here. Check. We got revolver rounds though. Guess we're not lucky on our uh, vaccine progress right now. So we just gotta keep moving then. Alright, more shotgun shells. Well. It's awfully convenient. Alright, let's just start popping a couple of these. We can get a pretty big, tasty. There we go. Two broken. quick enough on that, but not quite. Nice. That's the kind of multi-kills we want to see. open. Yeah, let's just go. Alright. Good on most everything except vials. I mean, we're still f oh. Oh, this is like a bloody slip and slide. Ideally, I should be moving very fast on the- Lucy, 
You... you should be dead. I'm more alive than I've ever been. You're the one who let the parasites out. I can't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. For as smart as you think you are, you've been putting this together a little slow for my taste. I, I kind of already figured it out. out. Because they asked me to. They wanted to make me their god, not you. All I had to do was let them flourish. How could they pick you out of everyone? Or I could go. You have boom. Vapid, ignorant. Or just set her on fire. Or just shoot her in the head with a crossbow. Like, I could do any of those right now. to your work, worshipping knowledge, and valuing science over others' lives and happiness makes you above everyone else. You're not above me. You're not above Pravi. You're not even above the lab rats. You're immoral, unethical. You have no compass, no virtues. I can't you disagree with all that yet. You have got the self-awareness to care. Without feeling, you're nothing. That's why they picked me. This universe has too many men like you. Just want to check. Yeah, there's no. It doesn't look like there's any subtitles. Uh, she's not entirely. Oh, uh, oh, I am a little slidey here. Ouch. What the hell is that? Got it. All right, so it does a. Uh, okay, hold up. Oh. Oh, damn it. All right. Lucy, you. Oh no! Don't. Oh, Jesus. Oh, space bar skipped it. Good. Wait, wait for the attack. All right. Oh, this one has the uh, stuff. That doesn't do anything to it. No, it did. So it's the bottom right, it looks like. Jesus. This place is getting a little too packed for my tastes.
Got a little wacky and wild, but, uh, you know, you can't stop me when I'm fucking around as many bullets as I am. Now, what was annoying was picking up all these pistol bullets. That was a little unfortunate to have happen good fight. Oh, I had flare rounds. Yep. Uh, let's see if we can find more of a vaccine. I think that's probably the end of the game there, though. Alright. Can I grab... No, I can't grab any more pistol bullets, but I probably... Nah, fuck it. I was gonna say, I probably could ditch two more pistol bullets and then grab another shotgun, but I think I'll just keep the pistol bullets for right now. Uh-oh. Uh leave for program to respond. I, th I think I should not have clicked right there. I think the game was loading. Oh boy. I think we I think we broke it. Yeah, it's uh, it's broken. Hold up a minute. I think I gotta restart the game. Hit play. Okay. For it to show up on screen. There we go. All right. So it's probably gonna. Yeah, we gotta do the boss fight again. That's fine. Lucy. Wait for the hunter. There we go. Right, so it's up here. It's still there. That was unfortunate. Yep, still ain't through here. Shit. How am I looking? Good still. Now it's time for this. Oh, damn. Alright. Try that again. If the room just gets too full too quick, like, you really have to DPS this thing. I think that that's it, but I'm gonna wait for the teleporter tether. Yep, okay. Wait for the... there we go. Alright, it's other side. Bottom side, it looks like. So... one, two... I didn't mean to grab that. I meant to grab this. The shotgun's even slightly clipping into them and it makes it so you can't actually hit it. It's annoying, to say the least.
God, that is a loud fucking noise. That's not where it is, is it? Yeah, it's below. Still good there. Do that out. That. Reload. Come on. Jesus. Such a loud fucking noise. Fucking hell. There's a fucking rat. Yeah, I don't think we survived this. Yep, not when that spawns there. Wow, that is, um... Oof. I'm sure you could do it consistently if you have... a little bit more patience. Might be best just to look one of these fucking shots, honestly. from the stuff here so that it doesn't potentially spawn a bunch more enemies. It's up below, and it's up top. Alright, we need to just pick pop one of these. Jesus! Yeah, it seems like you were really dependent on getting some good RNG here. Also, for the sake of this part, I'm going to turn down the volume a little. Because there's a lot of those popping noises, and I don't know about you guys, but it it is very sharp on my ears. Jesus. So 
it sounds like it's on our left side. They're probably going to spawn. Yep. There it is. And I think I'm dead. Yeah, Jesus. This fight is, uh... What's something? I'll, I'll give it that. Now we fire this. Okay, we got like five rats on the board. Yeah, you just gotta like rush down this bastard. Like honestly, I think dropping the flare around is a smarter call. That way we can just hopefully DPS with the shotgun. And I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh man. Alright. I mean, I feel like it was a decent call to drop the fucking flare around, but... Because it is genuinely just a rush down. If you let the thing go too long, you're, you're gonna lose. Alright, so it's above. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you have to rush that down and play, like, you just have to slide from one to the other and then, like, line up against the wall and hope that it fucking shoots it or er, vertically instead of horizontally. That was rough as hell. Well, I'll be taking this back. I don't know if there's anything else, but I'm prepping just in case. Hopefully the game doesn't crash this time. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to... Okay, we're good. Bump the sound back up to here.
Lab status. Oxygen levels normal. Decontamination tunnel. Compromised. Communication systems. Offline. She sabotaged the comms. I'll have to get to the spacecraft before she does or I'll be stuck here. Uh, I hate to bur burst your bubble there, Sint, but, um, she kind of, like, was I teleporting. I you, Sint. The parasite will do a fine enough job of that. You, you're just going to leave me here? Why not? Isn't that what you would do? Good yeah, luck, Yeah, it's true. May Pyurite have mercy on you. Wait a minute, do I have six fingers? Damn it. Now what? Wait, to be continued? Hold up, what? That's it? You can't do this to me! Don't you know how much I fucking sacrificed? It took my arm, it took my legs, and now I'm fucked. Well, uh... We 100%ed the game! <laughs> hmm... Let me, let me turn this down just a little bit. Uh, well, I mean, that that's the game. There's not really anything else. Uh, and it's setting it up for... Like a sequel, I, I suppose? Because it left us with that to be continued. Uh, I'm not sure our boy Sint here is really going to be having much go for him, uh, unfortunately, given that, I mean, we have the parasite in us still, and we're really only able to keep it at bay because of the vaccines, which um, I don't think is a really a long-term solution. Uh, that said, I guess it's time to give my thoughts on the game. Uh, well, we were able to get about three hours out of it. Uh, I think a lot of it came together pretty well and if there's going to be a sequel I think as long as we start with the weapons that we have and then maybe get modifications to them that would be good uh, what I would like to see though is more situations where fighting isn't the answer, right? Because we we were given, obviously, all the stuff in order to do combat with anything that got in our way. Um, there wasn't a single enemy that I didn't think I could kill, especially after I got the crossbow, right? That you could fire theoretically infinitely. Um, if they wanted to, I wouldn't be... I don't think it would be a bad idea to maybe take the crossbow away and give like a silenced pistol instead. That way you have to actually think about, okay, is this something that I want to use right now to silently take out this enemy? Or would I want to hold on to it for later to maybe help with another enemy that's going to be in my way? So like measuring or like uh, kind of balancing out whether or not to just go gung ho or kind of slither around. I think that would be nice. Um, that last boss was, uh, I get the concept, but it was a little rough. I think it would have been more interesting instead of having to fight like a mass of things, f like focusing on fighting the hunter itself. At least I think it's called the hunter. Hold up. Let's see. Achievements. Yeah. Stella, uh, Stagger the teleporting hunter. I think it would have been better for us to have to fight this in particular. Um, because the the cell thing, like, I don't know. It, it was, I liked how that we could like sprint across very quickly because of the, the blood puddles, that was fun. Um, but the fact that like there was walls upon walls that just would stand in our way, that, you know, we could use the hunter to get through it or we could shoot it. It, it never felt like shooting was a good idea. Um, especially with how quickly they would be on rotation, because you would get two hunter teleports, and then it would do a line of, like, the pods. And the issue with the pods is that, um, they can either drop ammo, health, or an enemy. And when it's the slower-moving big guys, it's, a, it's not as bad, right? 
you can take your shotgun out and shoot it and then just keep moving and like during that fight you want to be using the shotgun it just does the most amount of damage uh against the the tumors or like whatever this thing is i'm just gonna call it the tumor um yeah, it does the most damage against the tumor, so you want to have that out a lot of the time. But the the issue is when it spawns like the rats, uh, they can go through those like little pods, and it makes it very difficult to try and take out them. Like there was one or two times where it spawned like three rats, and there was literally no chance we would have of surviving that. Um, so it, I don't know. I feel like they could have revamped that fight to be against the hunter in particular. They could have still used the pods, maybe have something like... Um, after two teleports maybe it's uh does a ring around you of the pods and because th then you have the option of trying to dodge him as he dashes through uh, depending on how tight the pod is or you could shoot and then scoot out of it right so those pods would still be on the field and be able to be unlocked and uh used to your advantage or uh, spawn enemies but it wouldn't be as annoying as like because y you also saw it on that last attempt right so like let's say there's these four corners on screen um if i was say like right here when it's going to do the line it would it seemed to come from like a random either random or whatever was closest to you tumor right so let's say i'm right here after the second dash this tumor might go shoot pods like that and you've got like that's the only bit of the map that's taken out of uh the equation which is perfectly fine but if i'm like right here and this one decides to go that whole like I am cut off on either this side or this side and I have to fight to get through and as I'm fighting I'll have to reload which takes time dodge the hunter which takes time during my reload and it's possible that what happens is if I'm over here and I have to get over here uh so let's say the pod spawn do the line uh I shoot to get through the hunter shows up as I'm either through or on this side I have to dodge them I get to the other side I have to reload because I'm going to need to get my guns ready to get over here. I get over here, maybe get like one shot off, avoid the hunter, and then another sack spawns. So we still have this line here. Now let's say this decides to shoot and I'm like right here. That's another line like that. It, it just, it cuts off too much of the arena and makes it way too suffocating to move through. Maybe if instead of a straight line there was divots maybe like every two or three that you could slip in between to get by without having to actually like combat them that would be a better uh, design in my opinion but of course that's just my opinion um i saw that people were talking about how the last boss was a little rng um but yeah it seems like there might be ways to mitigate it but it's not very clear and it does feel like some of the deaths were a bit cheap um but uh in terms of like the guns though the gunplay was very fun i enjoyed that like having to reload the revolver and uh, the shotgun and how the revolver actually if you say put a bullet in the last uh chamber and had nothing else you'd have to click five times to get to that last bullet because it's a revolver that's how it works so that was pretty cool. Maybe like a, at the beginning, a little bit more of a visual indication that this is chamber one because I inserted it in the top before and it didn't go. Um, and it, it became obvious to me afterwards, but to someone who may not be as familiar with the use of firearms, it might be just a little bit more confusing. I think most people who would play this game though would understand how revolver works, but just more indication of which chamber is number one in the gun would be a, a little helpful um crossbow liked that um though it did kind of mitigate the need for ammo conservation or like uh, any sort of ammo economy uh, because i could just kill like literally everything if it wasn't a group of enemies coming at me and even then if i was given a long enough hallway i could use the crossbow to kill them all um shotgun having it be a double barrel is a smart call because otherwise that's just your go-to weapon and you really do have to uh, count your shots with that I think it would have been better to have the flare gun maybe be like the shell be only one wider than a shotgun shell um, because the flare gun while it was useful in a couple situations particularly when it gives it to you like taking out that hallway there's not a ton of other times where the flare gun makes as much use or like much sense to use because you'd only get like score two or three kills at the end even i i remember i shot the flare gun and it didn't even kill things it would just spawn enemies on me so that wasn't helpful at all 
Uh, so I would say either the flare gun needed to be buffed to be stronger, or the shells needed to be smaller, so that way you could carry more of them. Uh, and that covers, I think, all the weapons. Yeah, that's all the weapons. Um, I think, personally, I think it would be kind of interesting to see if maybe they would give you in uh, the next uh, next version of the game uh, a knife, perhaps, to... Because one of the things, right, was that um, I feel like they gave you the crossbow in order to give you more enemies to fight, but not screw you out of not having any ammo, right? Now, of course, at the end of the game, the ammo became like plentiful given the pods, but um, I think if they took away the crossbow, gave you like a silenced pistol and a knife, the knife could be used when you're like out of ammo and you need to like gain some, or even in a stealth situation, perhaps against like smaller enemies, whereas the pistol would be better against like bigger enemies. But uh, yeah, no, I, I'm just like brain dumping right now. Um, generally, the game was fun. Uh, give me one second. I want to want to check how much the game was right now. It's on sale for seven fifty, so it's a ten dollar game um, for three hours of content. Uh, do I think it's worth it? Uh, it's a fun experience. It's something different. I think depending on like your personal financial situation, it may or may not be worth it. Um, I would recommend it. And I'm interested to see what they do uh, going forward. But uh, yeah, no, that's going to take care of our stream tonight, though. No reason to like try and jump into anything else. Um, next stream will be Saturday, 10.30 p.m. EST, as per the usual. In terms of what we'll be playing... Um... I might do like a spooky game for Saturday. Uh, I have Five Nights at Freddy's VR, and I think maybe if I could get like some of the boys into a call and have them just like watch me play like through a couple of the Five Nights games, uh, that could be a fun little stream. Additionally, I did pick up Resident Evil 3 Remake and Resident Evil 1 Remake, so maybe on the channel we can do a bit of a playthrough of the resident evil games uh going from one to uh, one remake two remake three remake, remake four and then five i don't think i'll do six on stream six i i do not enjoy six as much as i do the other resident evil games but um the rest of them i, I would be interested in trying to get done ideally i do all of that before the Resident Evil 4 remake comes out next year uh, because oh boy am I looking forward to that because Resident Evil 4 was one of my childhood games I remember playing that thing quite a bit and going through getting like most of the unlockables so it, it'll be something fun to go to for sure but uh, yeah anybody still sticking around hope you enjoyed your stay hope you enjoyed this look at endoparasitic um, maybe if I'm feeling up to it, I can cut something up and put like a video on the archive channel for this. Um, obviously, the entire stream will be there, but I feel like we can probably highlight a couple of the moments. But uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. And I hope to see you at the next stream. Until then, let me uh, so, so we've got an eye, we've got another eye. We've got a smiley face. That's me. Goodbye.